Hello and welcome to this second video where we're taking a look at voltage modular nucleus from Cherry Audio. So as I said in the previous video this is currently free. Not sure how long this was going to last but I'd imagine it will be a few weeks but it's definitely a worthwhile addition to your synthesis arsenal because it comes with some great presets that you can use and it sounds really really authentic. It can be pretty heavy on DSP usage, so you probably find you want to just uh, come up with your sounds and then freeze the tracks or do a mix down of them, bounce them in place and then remove the instrument. But today we're going to take a look at adding a filter. So in the last video, we got this simple analog synth set up. Sorry, I often say analog. It's sort of a similar word to subtractive. So strictly speaking, it's a subtractive synth. Although we're not really subtracting much other than volume at the moment because we've just got an oscillator, an envelope generator and an amplifier. So you can see it's pretty simple to set this up. But now what we're going to do is add a filter into the setup. So I'm going to move this envelope generator and the amplifier. So these are together. So these are taking care of the level. But we're going to put a filter with an envelope generator in as well. So first, I'm just going to disconnect the oscillator. I'm going to add a second envelope generator, which I'm just going to move here so it's clear what it's controlling. And then I'm going to look at the filter. And you only get one with uh, the free version, but it's certainly good enough to be getting on with. So we're going to wire these up. Now, the envelope generator needs a gate signal, just like the other one did. So again, I'm going to click and hold on this socket here and then connect up another gate in. The envelope out from this is going to be controlling the uh, frequency. So now we're going to take a square wave and put that audio into the filter. And then we're going to use the low pass out. So it's going to take that and that's going to be for the input of the amplifier. So if we play now, we're getting the same thing as before. So the filter isn't doing anything at the moment, but if we bring this cutoff down, you can hear that's working. And if we turn the resonance up, you can hear we're getting some. you can hear that working. You may hear my Max fans working in the background as well. So Now, we should find, once we turn the mod amount up, here, now this envelope here, so the attack time of this, is controlling the cutoff frequency by the amount set here. So, so if I put the sustain down to zero and put that, to about the same kind of time then this is going to go up and then back down even though I'm sustaining the note on the keyboard there we go okay so already you've got what many subtractive synths that you would have you would have bought you know monophonic ones in the 70s some of the features you'd have on there so we've got the oscillator where we can set this up envelope generator filter uh, an envelope generator for the amplifier. So I'm just going to move these across because we're just going to add a couple more things. So we're going to add another oscillator. And again, wire that up. So we're going to give it pitch from our keyboard and going to move these guys over again a bit more okay and then we're going to use this six input mixer here so this mixer is going to mix our two oscillators so you could actually use this to switch waveforms and have like a mix of them but what I'm going to do is just wire up these two oscillators so I'm going to take that from the filter put that into number one and take this one from the filter and put that into number two and then the output is going to go into our filter so now we've got two oscillators playing i'm going to offset one of them by an octave 
one we've got. Instantly. A much fuller sound, etc. Let's take that down. Too low. So you can hear that working there. Maybe do a bit of detuning, etc. If you're feeling... Make it sound a bit wobbly, etc. Okay? So that's where we're going to leave it today. So adding a filter and an extra oscillator. Um, maybe some more videos in this series, hopefully, if I get time. But hopefully you found that useful. And you can start experimenting. So obviously, just start playing around, plugging things in. You can't break any of this. So the worst thing that can happen is it won't make any sound. Well, no, the second worst thing that can happen is that. The worst thing that can happen is you have it turned up really loud and it makes a horrific sound. But noodling around with this, you really get to understand how synthesizers work and you won't be afraid to just dig in and start playing around with presets that you find on other synths. So this is a great learning tool. Once you've got set up and you've got over the initial how do I connect everything kind of vibe, you'll find this is hugely useful as a learning tool and also for creating interesting sounds which don't sound like a lot of other VST instruments. So I hope you found that useful and I will see you soon.